Hi, I'm George Varsimashvili. I'm a filmmaker from Georgia. And behind the camera is my colleague Georgi Shanidze, who doesn't want to appear on the screen, so he will stay there. And over there is Lasha and Tako, who will be our models. And they are a married couple, so they can stay close to each other. We need to keep the social distancing rule. It's, um, it's a strange time, right? We, we finished the lockdown in Georgia, so we can be in this theater on the stage. But uh, unfortunately, the filmmaking is still not allowed and the rental houses are closed. So thanks to Kaha, who is the distributor of Dedolite, we've got this uh, kit. Uh, so here we've got two um, classic Dedolites, and uh, this one is uh, D-LED uh, 3, 4 and 7. And also we've got these accessories. So here is this projector and the, the color filter, which we put inside and the shape which we also can put inside this one. So as you see, it's not a lot, but uh, our goal is to make with this few um, equipment uh, something that uh, doesn't show this lack. On the contrary, it's, we can try to make it as our advantage. Um, so let's, let's see what we can do with it. Here we decided to make a love scene. So these two models will be kissing each other. And we want to tell the story through the light. So our, our idea was to show just the silhouettes. For this reason, we won't be using a key light or fill light, but our main light will be only backlight coming from there. So the camera will be over there. This light will be gone because it's just for the explanational part. And we will use these two dedo lights. These are classical dedo lights. Uh, and we put them on the same height as models, so they will just target the faces. And we closed it as much as possible, so it will create just the um, silhouette and won't go outside. So all we need to do now here is to switch this to on. And let's see what it looks like in the camera without this light. So we have our main light already and I kind of like it. You like it? You also like it? it works very well, but I think we like it, it's on the body. It's really dark. The faces are okay, but on the body it's re really dark. So maybe we thought that we would add this light projector, which will direct the light on the body. Now the good thing with this one is that let's switch it on and you will see it has a, it, you can regulate the color temperature, so we will try to have the same color temperature and, as the main light. And it also has a dimmer, actually they also have kind of dimmer, and this ring which you can make the light wider or shorter. But uh, whatever we tried, uh, it was way too sharp uh, and was attracting a little bit too much attention, so we have this trick, we put this jar full of water, to create an effect and as you see the water is moving uh, inside so the light will be moving on her shoulder so what we will do during the shooting we will move this uh, like this and it will create an additional effect which will uh, give like some kind of intimate erotic touch to the body okay so now we have our light already built there and to be honest it, i think we, it, it could work uh, in this way what what we have but um, here is a nice uh, brick wall, which we thought we can use as a background. So we put this light projector here to direct the light on the background wall. And there, here we have this little toys, which actually I haven't seen before. Uh, and they look really interesting. So here is a thing which you attach on this light projector here. And the main thing is not to forget to lock it. So like here. And then Dedolite gave us these shapes. So we were told that you can even project the picture or different shapes. Now we've got only this shape. And we will try to make something something 
some kind of shapes on, on the on, on the background wall. So we need to really put it over like this here. Okay. And let's see what it does. So the the light goes like here. And you see there are kind of shapes on the wall. Now let's switch off the main light and see what it, what it does uh, on the screen. To create more kind of erotic mood, it needs a color on the background. So we put another light projector, actually the last one we have, over there. And you see Georgi switched and it has a red light. So on the background it will have a red color. So now let's switch this theater light and uh, we will see what it does in practice. We have made this uh, light and we are ready to show it. Uh, we also filmed uh, some close-ups but uh, we only slightly adjusted characters and um, light but the setting was the same uh, so we are ready to, to show it now. But before I wanted to make a conclusion to say that um, this light equipment is probably the, the best I have personally used because it it has a very beautiful light and also is very practical in terms of use. Should it be the, the size, weight, also with dimmers, color temperatures, um, accessories, everything. It's very practical and very beautiful. So I'm very happy I, that I uh, had a chance to, uh, to use it. Uh, before watching this video, I wanted to uh, make a little advice. I think it's not um, exactly right to um, make the beautiful light only for the sake of beauty, but my personal preference is when we tell the story through the light. So what's the movie about, what's the scene about, and we try to um, tell this uh, what the, the director wants uh, in the movie. Here what we did, we used the backlight to show the intimate scene of love and we added a red color and a flickering light on the shoulder, which would add a little bit of erotic touch to the scene. So now let's watch the video. <laughs> 